seems like the, in that pavilion the Nordic countries are physically face to face, so there needs to be, there has been always a kind of dialogue with the, the different countries. So when you walk in there, people automatically start comparing that what is, seems to be Swedish and Finnish and, and Danish and what do they have to say. So I think in this case they will have a dialogue and uh, maybe this you can also call therapy. Depends on who is this therapy aimed to. And maybe it is an idea to show us as people, as plain as possible, Nordic, Nordic people, how we are, how we feel. Architecture, I think, uh, follows the path it has taken for several decades ago. So, um, in a way, it's simple and tries to fulfill uh, the functioning of of the brief and uh, and the context in a human way. But uh, I think it's in a Previous years develop in, uh, in the diversity of uh, ex expression a lot. And it's more and more part of the global architecture. I, I think those, those uh, in, 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 in past and tradition Nordic architecture, it's, it's, a, it's cool, no decoration, minimalistic, functional, functional architecture, but, but maybe it's, it's hard to see now, nowadays so clear this thing, maybe connection to the nature, it's, it's typical, especially for Finnish architects. Uh, but maybe something what is in, in Nordic society in general, I think uh, equality and, and democracy, it's something we can see also in architecture, this uh, openness and, and transparency, things like that, maybe not so easy to show what it exactly is, but, but maybe some items. And we are, Nordic countries are a cluster of small countries in size and uh, small cultures and we, don't, we are not superpowers. So we have different types of projects inside our country. So this is also reflected. Looks like the, the most uh, trendy and fashionable architecture has been in the recent years in Spain and, and Holland. And then we have been a bit maybe as this kind of group in the sidelines, maybe this is still on the, maybe it's a good location to be a bit in the sidelines and not try to mix with that kind of the, the middle to try to, uh, let's say, design, make architecture in the middle of that kind of trend. So we are physically, I think, uh, on the side of Europe, so also maybe mentally. We work uh, as a team, as a family, and uh, this is a kind of workshop experience. And uh, the core values, well, human approach, of course, um, to make things better with architecture. Yeah, I think the stereotype is that there's uh, one architect, or in this, in our case, would be four architects, but actually there is now we are 60 or even 70 people, so it maybe works, as someone mentioned, that it works as a sort of a family that's cooking together. But uh, we are not real, we don't really have recipes, so, and we, are not, we have to invent the recipes, and we don't know how the food is going to be like. So that's an uh, interesting thing, that we, we need to invent the recipes together. And uh, that's why we look closely at the what is actually the dilemma of the site, for instance, or the clients. And yeah, we don't have any certain style in a way. Yeah, and uh, I think uh, also um, archi making architecture is it's, it's kind of a craftsmanship. We need to work very hard and, and that's, that's crucial for the final result. We need to take care of the whole building process. The making ideas and the idea phase, it's very, very it's, it's fascinating and nice, but, but, but what counts is it's the final result, built result, and, and we need to hard very, very hard, work very hard 
to, to, to reach it. I think maybe Venice is one of the only uh, events that's actually, and in addition to all the seminars, that uh, are very popular and maybe they're key meeting places for peop people and architects to have a discussion. And, and sometimes the exhibitions have been more or less interesting, but now recently maybe there's, uh, there has been some uh, really, let's say, interesting angles to the exhibitions so people get uh, this moves the discussion and also maybe even the values of what is now considered to be valuable architectural architecture at the moment. So uh, I think uh, you would uh, you would suspect that it's less important, but now I think it's at least for instance I know some uh, Chinese architect friends who always go to Venice, so it may be important uh, to have this kind of stage where people meet. Maybe they just want to visit Venice. Yes. But, but, but uh, <coughs> I think the question is, it's, it's flood of inf information everywhere. So it's maybe not the reason to come to some particular place to, to, to see something in an exhibition. But maybe it's that it's, it's a forum for discussion and, and maybe status of, of Venice Biennale is very high. It's, if you have something important to say, maybe that's the right forum for that, and maybe you can be heard.